Okay, here we go. Seismic waves. This is uh, blue point. Looks like latitude, longitude, seismic waves. 11%. Wow, that's powerful. Nice, nice art, nice design there. That's a double dry hop DDH triple IPA. Gives you that 11 percenter. Um, made right here in Patch Hog and the Hog, as my friends from the Hog say. Uh, you've got your Citra, big fan of Citra. Uh, Comet, Mosaic, big fan of Mosaic too. Idaho 7, big fan of those. Simcoe and Denali. It's nice whenever you have a beer and you can really uh, taste exactly what it is. You know, just like a one hop beer and you know you either like it or you don't like, you know. And, um, and it's neat. Some of them are like a little spicy or funky. And then they get these hybrids and they're, uh, they're, um, they're like patented. You, you can't even grow uh, Citra. Um, I guess some hops actually growing over there. Take a look. See what we can see in there. Uh, not really. I'm pretty sure. Let's take a look. Uh, right before we test this bad boy out, let's check out our hops. They didn't do so good. So good over there. Uh, let's see here. Hops, 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 hops. Oh, there's some hops right here. These were. Uh, I'll never use them some cascade hops right here. So, and you got your, come on, focus, man. There we go. There you got your hop and that powder in there, that lulamin powder, whatever they call it. It's that yellow stuff. You really taste it in some of these beers. See it in there? Pretty neat stuff. Pretty cool. But uh, you can kind of, let me taste that there. You know, I've even tried uh, dry hopping beer with the hops because the first year I grew them, I got a ton because uh, I watered them all the time. They need a lot of water. And they taste they taste neat. But uh, they need a lot of water. <laughs> and uh, I would dry hop beer and I would make a crappy beer taste really good. Man, look at that hair. Whew. But it... It would taste really good, but it would take out the um, the bubbliness. So uh, I didn't have uh, that Soda Stream thing, but I'm thinking you dry hop it up and then you Soda Stream it. Because I was using like a uh, like a coffee um, creamer thing that like makes foam, and that basically uh, you know killed it. it um, but it killed the bubbles, so it was like flat beer after you did that so then maybe after you do that try it with the um the uh, soda stream but here we go seismic waves i've had this before it's strong but it's really delicious a little wine like yeah it's strong it's good though you got to be in the mood though you know good beer i like it it's nice for a rainy day, hanging out in the hot tub, and uh, I'm thinking, uh, oh, what's the uh, the blue one? That's what I would go for from them. I feel like Blue Point, their um, their best beer, in my opinion, is the. Um, it's got the similar uh, thing, but it's a dark blue can and it's purple. I'll review. Awesome. Enjoy.